Now, I don't smoke, but I do quite like the technology of electronic cigarettes, like these ones. This is an Easy Sig and is touted as the one pound, or I guess maybe in America it would be the one dollar electronic cigarette. And it's a disposable electronic cigarette. And I've always thought it's quite impressive that they can do that for a pound. Let's give it a wee go, shall we? Yeah, that works. But what's more more impressive than that is that if you peel the sleeving off it, the actual sticky label on the outside. Oh, that's quite sticky, I have to say. Here we go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there we go. Inside is a little lithium cell, and I've just peeled this one off, and it's slightly different from the others. The electronics in the tip, and the little wad of absorbent material with the um, vaping liquid, and a heating element inside. But what's really interesting here, is that if you pull it all out, and you can just drag the whole thing out, or snap the wires, as it happens, you find there's a little lithium cell inside. And the other ones um, I opened in the same range had this neatly sleeved cell. And it says it's a 75400. And that means it's got a capacity of, it's not a capacity, that gives you the size, which is 7.5 millimeters diameter by 400 millimeters long. This one has more information on it, which is quite interesting. This one actually tells you the capacity in amperes, which is 0.3 watt hour, um, 90 milliamp hour. And I was wondering, and I also found some information on the internet that kind of alluded to the fact that these may actually be rechargeable cells they put use in these, because simply they would probably find it hard to find a range of non-rechargeable cells these days. The majority of lithium batteries are rechargeable because that's what the biggest market's for. So I took one out, the other electronic cigarette, and I put a connector on it. It's got two pins that stick out, a bit like a capacitor, and if you look at the other video where I took one of these apart, um, you'll see why that is. It's basically, uh, there are two sheets of foil inside this coated with the lithium compound and and um, two separated dielectric separators and a wire is bonded to the middle of each of those sheets of foil and comes out through a grommet and that's what you're connecting to so I wouldn't apply too much heat in case you melt the electro the, um, the dielectric layer, the insulating layer between the layers and cause a little bit of a meltdown. However, it, it seems to take solder fine and I soldered on this connector and then I got the circuit module out of the end of a standard lithium protected cell that I'd cut down in size to fit into a um, USB battery bank. And I put a um, connection on for charging the lithium cell and a connection on for the output and a USB lead with a little resistor in the back, 22 ohm resistor to limit the current going in. And I plugged the cell that I'd run right down to the to the ground to the point the little light wasn't lighting on the um, electronic cigarette and I took it out, measured it and it was just under 3 volts and I charged it up, put it in a glass bowl in the process just in case it exploded or did something unpleasant and then I plugged in a bright module of LEDs that runs about 100 milliamp and it lasted about an hour and then was run down quite low and the protection circuit kicked in and then I charged it again and then I discharged it and then I charged it and then I discharged it and then I charged it and, then, and, and the gist of it is it appears to be a fully functioning rechargeable cell 
that you get in a one pound disposable electronic cigarette. Now I can't say this is going to be the same for every single cell you get in these, but certainly um, there's a very good chance it probably is because as I say, it's probably easier and cheaper to get cells of this size that are designed for rechargeable electronic cigarettes than it is to get non-rechargeable cells. So I might actually give this one a wee go as well, actually. But I don't think there'll be any difference. I think it will be a rechargeable cell. So yeah, interesting find. Uh, 90 milliamp power, um, rechargeable lithium cell for a pound in an electronic cigarette out of the local pound shop or dollar store.